Hey guys, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel and my somewhat messy pantry. It's not too bad, but today I thought instead of doing a grocery haul, I'm going to do an anti-grocery haul. So planning meals for the week by using stuff that we already have in the pantry, the freezer, the refrigerator, the cabinets and all that stuff and not buying anything new. So that's why we're starting out here in my pantry just to kind of see what I've got. I'm gonna show you my refrigerator too. It's looking pretty messy also just because we've had it so stockpiled the last couple months um, that it's not very organized, but at least there's stuff in there, so that's good. So, um, got plenty of eggs, got quite a bit of milk. I ate out for the first time in about two months, so that's leftover tea from Panera. I've got a thing of chicken back there in the back. I know I've got more in the freezer. Um, Greek yogurt, which I use instead of sour cream, so that can be something. I've got a couple tomatoes, an onion, a cucumber, apples, which I forgot I even had. So I need to eat those and move this milk. We go through milk like crazy. I've been asked quite a few times with my grocery hauls how we're going through so much milk. It's because we drink about a gallon a day with all four people. So let's see. We've got some leftover turkey that I eat. Mostly nobody eats that but me. We've got plenty of the Annie's biscuits, some bacon. So actually that's, I forgot we had that. And let's see what else. The pan or the freezer is pretty, pretty full too. We've got one thing of chicken nuggets which is not gonna feed all of us. So I'm, I'll have to get some more of that next week maybe. Plenty of bread. These are a couple things of turkey. This is all like meat down here. So I've got frozen vegetables and I've got chicken, a couple things of beef, and then I've got three, it looks like three or four things of turkey. And then I've got the frozen garlic bread that I told you guys about that I like. So looks like I can make pretty much everything that I want without having to go to the store. I've got only one thing of chicken, so I don't know, that may be a good lunch option, but not for dinner. And right now I'm just gonna be planning out dinner. So I know I've got tomatoes. I wanna use those first so they don't go bad. So I could make bacon tomato sandwiches with one of them and my bean, my black bean um, recipe with the other. So that's probably what I'm gonna do first. I actually may have that tonight. Today is Wednesday, so we'll probably have that. So I've got plenty of black beans that I stockpiled up on long, long before this whole quarantine thing happened. So plenty of black beans. I see I've got plenty of, of green beans now, so that's actually good. Um, if you wanna see my original, like how I organized my pantry this way with Dollar Tree stuff, then I'll link it for you guys below. These things came from Dollar Tree and using them this way, like, for, like one in the front and one in the back, makes it really easy to see what you've got and um, make the most use of a deep cabinet. So. Make sure you check out that video if you haven't seen it. This is the only part that's kind of messy and this is just like overstock stuff. So I've got some extra Parmesan cheese. This is actually um, organic gluten-free baking mix that I use for our baked chicken recipe, which I may make this week because it's really good and the leftovers are really good. So it's just basically this is all extra stuff. This is all extra stuff, like oversized, like crackers, an extra bag of cookies, some boxes of pasta, some jelly and things like that. So. That's all we have to work with. So I'm gonna sit down now and do my meal plan with only stuff that I already have on hand. So granted, I have plenty. So this is not like the type of thing where you've only got like four things in the, in the cabinet and you have to make a meal. I do have plenty, but I do wanna start using some of that stuff before I buy any more just because I don't want it to go to waste. So today is Wednesday. We'll have bean yumminess, which is what we call it. So that'll use the chips, the tomatoes, and a couple uh, cans of black beans. Um, and then I use Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. To use, could use sour cream if you wanted. We'll have that today. Um, let's see, tomorrow I've got the other tomato, so I don't want that to go bad. I don't want bacon and tomato sandwiches for dinner, but we'll probably have to have that anyway just to get rid of that tomato and the bacon. Basically, it's a BLT without the L. <laughs> so that means for lunch, I'm probably going to eat something without bread tomorrow. Maybe just, um, sometimes I'll do like turkey breast rolls. So I just roll up a couple slices of turkey and some cheese and melt it in the microwave and don't even eat it like a sandwich. And that way it's no carbs. Um, not that I'm no carb, but I'm just saying I wouldn't want to have a sandwich for lunch and a sandwich for dinner. So we'll do that tomorrow. Then we'll have baked chicken on Friday and Saturday because it makes good leftovers. And we'll use a couple of those cans of green beans. I've got some frozen corn, so I could do frozen corn. We'll just do that. So we'll have that Friday and Saturday. That onion too. So Sunday we can have Italian chicken. I've made that quite a few times lately. 
that'll use that leftover onion. It'll use um, one of the, actually one or two of the things of garlic bread that they're frozen. So that'll use all that, which means I'll have to get some chicken out of the freezer. Let's see, on Sunday, so probably Friday, I'll get chicken out of the freezer so it'll be ready to use on Sunday. So that uses all the tomatoes and the onions, so those won't go bad. Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm gonna make turkey, we call it turkey noodle, but that's really good and easy, and kids tend to like that too, so we'll have that on Tuesday. Okay, and then Wednesday we'll have homemade chicken pot pie, but what I'm gonna do, instead of making the biscuits, I'm gonna use those Annie's biscuits as the top, and that'll use one can of the biscuits, it'll use the frozen vegetables that I have, and some chicken, and um, also the sour cream that I got, the, the organic sour cream, so that'll be next Wednesday. I wanted to share something really exciting with you. If you've watched my channel for any length of time, then you would know I love Fetch Rewards. This is not sponsored. I'm just throwing this out there because I think everyone should know about it. I think everybody should be using it. And if you're not, you definitely should. Fetch Rewards previously was an app, free app you can download, free to use, that you just basically scan your grocery receipt anytime you shop at any grocery store, Costco, Trader Joe's, Walmart, Kroger, anywhere you do your grocery shopping, you could scan your receipt and you would earn points you could redeem for gift cards. It's way better than any of the other grocery apps I've ever used because you earn points on no matter what you buy. Yes, there are items that earn you more points, but Fetch Rewards is my favorite grocery app of all time because it's not like one of those apps where only certain products earn you points. You earn points on every purchase and there are other items you can earn additional points on, but you're gonna earn points for every purchase no matter what you bought which is really, really nice because I have another app that I used to use and it was really annoying because it was only on certain products and you have to scan the, the barcode and everything. It was really obnoxious. Fetch Rewards, with Fetch Rewards, you just scan your receipt and that's really simple. And I've gotten so many gift cards that I have been able to earn just from doing grocery shopping I was doing anyway. The reason it's a really the reason it's really exciting right now is because Fetch Rewards just added new categories that you can scan receipts for and earn points for. So I'm looking at their app right now so in addition to groceries, you can also scan your receipts from restaurants. I even scanned one from a gas station the other day. Any place you're shopping and doing like clothes shopping like Target or Marshalls or anywhere like that, you can still scan your receipt just like you would if it was groceries and earn points for that purchase. So all these points rack up really, really quickly, especially if you eat out every day or those random trips to Dollar Tree, scan your receipt and you'll earn points you can re redeem, that you can redeem for gift cards. So there's tons of gift cards to choose from. You can even earn your points for gift cards and give those gift cards as gifts to save you money on gift giving. So it's just a really, really great app that I use every single day. Now, not just for groceries, but for everything else too. Make sure if you don't have a Fetch Rewards account that you sign up for one. It's free to sign up, it's free to use. And if you sign up with my link and my referral code, you'll actually get 2000 bonus points just for signing up and using it for the first time. So there's a couple places and a couple brands and companies that I talk about repeatedly on my channel because they're the ones that I use the most often. There's a couple things in the homeschooling world that I love and swear by. And there's a couple things in the shopping, money-saving online world that I love and swear by. Fetch Rewards is one of them and Rakuten is the other. Those are the two that I talk about the most because they're the two that make me the most money that I use the most often. So I wanted to share it with you guys. It's really exciting. It's big news that they're able that you're able to scan receipts now for non-grocery items. That's a really big deal, especially for somebody like me who normally eats out every single day for lunch. Those receipts are gonna add up and I'm gonna get gift cards even faster for food and eating out I was doing anyway. So make sure if you don't have your free Fetch Rewards account that you sign up, it is free to sign up and use and you'll get those 2,000 bonus points when you sign up through my link and use my referral code. So that is my PSA for today. I hope you guys found it helpful and it will help you guys to start earning points so that you can get free gift cards just like I do. That's the plan. I just thought it'd be really fun to do kind of an anti-grocery haul since I've done so many grocery hauls lately just to see if I could make an entire week of meals um, without buying anything extra at the grocery store. So I encourage you guys to do the same thing not just because it saves money but also because but also because you want to make sure that you are actually using the things that you buy at the store and not letting them go bad on your shelf or in your refrigerator or freezer at home. So that's the plan. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure if you did, do you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. 
Also make sure if you haven't already that you sign up for your free Fetch Rewards account. Make sure you do that in the description box with my link and my referral code and you'll get 2000 bonus points after you sign up and use it for the first time. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.